as he warms up. Can he score again today? We're about to find out. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Newport County, and they take on Bradford City. Thanks, Derek. Good up. Firing it in. Easy save. Cook. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Surely! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. They've given it away. Middleton. Wood decided to come in from the flank. It could be up for grabs. Fruitful looking attack. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Cook. He succeeds in clearing it. Reeves Wood Might really be able to trouble them here Danger averted for now Plenty of players waiting in the middle And a chance for them to nudge in front Surely That will give them quite the lift an early opening goal lead. Well, you always want to start quickly, and there's a, certainly a quick start there. What a finish. Obviously, it's a tap-in, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. One nil then. Possession changes hands, the interception there. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. Whatever it takes to keep them out. That is how to apply the pressure. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Haynes. He has plenty of support. He brings it down, but work to do. Wonderful chance. Terrific block there. Couldn't hang on to it. Going well. Options in the centre. Not really the ideal clearance. Not really close to worrying the scoreboard operator. No, it's worth a try though, but when he looks at the position he is in, he'll be disappointed he didn't hit the target. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? He looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with the yellow card. O'Connor. Fine sequence of passes. Cook. Reeves. And they're moving. It's there for him. Well, not really a shooting moment he's going to be especially proud of, Lee. Well, he did have other options, but he thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a go. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. 
It's the second goal for the visitors. Can he take advantage? Can they put it away? Well, unfortunately, we had to cut Alan McInerney short just then to confirm the visitors did find the net in that game. And the lead, as things stand, is 2-0. Useful-looking position, you've got to say. And a goal kick given. Wood. And O'Connor here. Cook. Wood. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Port Vale. It should be. It's there for him. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Bradford City. Well, a second goal for them here. Shane McCartan. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Once again, to repeat the news, a goal for the away side in that game. And it's level now at one goal apiece. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning, and that's why they're one of the best teams. Will he find the net? Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Sheehan. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. And so it is, the first half story. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Middleton. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Great opportunity. Didn't quite, and it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, let's see that again. It's a decent save from the keeper, but it bounces back into play. Where were his defenders? The striker's there, pushes it into the net. The ball rolling again, and what has been an utterly one sided match. Khan, Haynes, and teammates to play it to. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's the second goal for Swindon Town. 53 minutes played, 2-2. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, great read there to intercept. to win the ball back and it's played into the centre and he's headed it in well Derek it's all about the cross it's perfectly weighted and he attacks the ball that's the key to that goal no shortage of goals in this match 3-1 
Sheehan. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a third goal for the visitors. 59 minutes played, 3-2. And threading it forward. Well, let's see about the cross. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Has a go. And he got to it fairly easily. Giving the ball away. And a chance for him on the flank. Wonderful block. A move of promise on the flank. Can they convert? That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Now, he could be in hot water here, having already been booked. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a second goal for Walsall. 68 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. He's beaten his man. And that was a very fine read. He's feeling the pressure here. So 20 minutes to go. An awful lot of green space to run into. It needs an accurate cross. He brings it down, but work to do. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Haynes. O'Brien. And that puts them in position. Electing to cross into the centre. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this heady goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Playing with purpose and control. Textbook defending inside the box. Cook. Danger averted for now. Just ten minutes to go. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's the second goal for Colchester United. Eight minutes remain. 2-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And given away. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And a strong tackle. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Dimitriou. Moving forward effectively. Can they square the game? Well, it's astonishing. A very unlikely comeback. But now they are level, having trailed by three. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Cook. 
on the scent of a winner late in this game. He continues his run, and this could win it. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Waters. And the referee says that.